Hello guys, welcome to the hit film tutorial number 7. This time we will use some text effects, but the animation will be in a 3D workspace. To not get back in your bed after you have gotten ready, but it's also going to make you feel a lot better when you get home after school. Basic animation in 3D in hit film express. Of course, down in the video description, you will find a link to our full hit film tutorial playlist. If you click on that, you will see all the hit film tutorials we are creating by now. So let's get started. Well, let's open up hit film. Let's create a new project. Click on new. Adjust the project settings. This is okay. So we click on the start editing and go from the project tab to the edit tab. X start editing. Well, as you see, it film has opened in a composing workspace. We can see the trimmer. I need to use the trimmer, so I'm gonna click on workspace and go from composing to editing. Click on editing. And now we can use the trimmer. I'm going to import a video. Import videos. This will be okay. Open. Comes to the media panel. I select some areas of this video. About here. And then let's select a few seconds. This could be the start. The setting point. Let's play this a little. You want to not get back in your bed after you have gotten ready, but it's also going to make you feel a lot better when you get home after school. Now this does not have to be a full work. Enough. This could be the setup point. And let's click and drag it to the timeline. As we used to. I don't want to test the editor sequence, so no. I just this on the slider. And this is our video of about 10 seconds. We're going to use the text effects to buy first time, use animation in 3D workspace. And as you might guess, apply the text effects requires a composite shot. And I'm sure you remember there are two ways to create a composite shot. By right clicking on a clip like this one, right click, and make composite shot. There will be a composite shot applied to this specific clip. But you can create some kind of independent composite shot that would be like a video clip that later you can drag to the timeline to edit as you like. In our past two tutorials, we use this kind of composite shot, right clicking and making composite shot. This time, we're gonna use the other way. We're gonna create an independent composite shot. How? Well, remember, you click on here, new, click on this, and new composite shot. We will be creating a composite shot that will be like a video clip here, and later we'll drag it to the timeline. New composite shot, it film will ask you for the name, Composite shot 1 is ok, but make sure to adjust its duration. This composite shot will last about 30 seconds, but our clip only lasts about 9 seconds. If I want the composite shot of the text be over this video, then the composite shot should last about 9 seconds too. So I'm gonna type 9. I'm creating a composite shot, an independent composite shot of about 9 seconds, ok? And we go to the composite shot. Here is it, you can see it. It's like a video clip. Once it's finished, I'm gonna drag it to the timeline. But by now, let's work in this composite shot. Uh, we're working in a composite shot, so go to workspace and go from editing, switch to compositing. Click on compositing. And now let's work in this composite shot. There is nothing behind, remember? It's an independent composite shot. And we wanna create some test effects and apply some animation in a 3D workspace. In our second tutorial, we created some text effects. Here in a composite shot, you just need to click on the text tool. You click and draw something. A uh, rectangle. Then type something. I remember our video was about making your bed. So this could be a nice title. Select it. You go to this text tab, as you can remember. You can change the font, the size. By clicking and dragging, it's that simple. Click, drag to the right, to the left. You can change this size also, making your bed. Let's draw another. Again, you click at this icon and just draw a rectangle. Like this. And type something through the workspace. Adjust the size. And let's make another. Just click, draw something, and let's type animation. Okay, if I try to move this. I can. Why? Because I has enabled the text tool. To move this text, these titles, I need to click on the selection tool. Click on this, 
and now it's possible to click it with any text, change its position, rotate, and do this kind of things. I would like this to be at this corner, and this one here, here at this corner. This is okay. Now I would like this letters in blue. I can't. If I click, I just change the position. Why? Because I have enabled the selection tool. If I want to make changes to the text, I need to click on the text tool. And now I can select the letters, change its colors. Okay, I can adjust the mode line like this. That's okay. Let's change this color to white. Okay, it didn't work because I need to select the words. Make it bad and let's change this to white. Okay, that is right. These are letters in blue outlined in white. I would like this to be... Let's use many colors. This will be green. This will be red. And this could be yellow. An intense yellow, like this. Make animation in black. Black color, black. Okay. Outline. Maybe bigger. Click, drag to the right. And then outline. I need to establish the size to one. Outline in white. Okay, these are our texts. Now, the tutorial really begins. I need to animate this in a 3D workspace. Well, first remember, each and any element here in the preview window is represented by a layer here in this timeline. You see this text, click on it. Once it's highlighted in blue, you see this one becomes outlined in blue. So this one new text is this one. The two new text is this. Outline in blue, this one highlighted in blue. So remember, any element in the preview window is a layer here in the timeline. If I make some adjustments to this number one new text, it will be applied to this one. If I do something to the second, click on the second, it will be applied to this one, outline in blue, and so on. Well, let's apply some animation. The number one, the animation. To see its properties, just click on the drop down arrow and you can see. You make the typical transform we have done before. You can do it here and you can also do that here in the controls. These are these. Composite shot one, new text. Is this one, new text. And the animation. We'll apply keyframes as we've done before. Let's click on the selection tool. Look at this. If you move this text, what will be changed? Look at this number, the position. If I move this, the position changes, you see? What possibilities we have now? We can move it up and down. We can make it to rotate also. Look at this, this controls, rotation. When you rotate the text, this controls will move too. This control will move to this one, rotation. You can see it here also. Look at this, rotation. In this tutorial, we're gonna look at this place, rotation. But this tutorial is about 3D. How we do that? Well, you click at this layer dimension and switch from the actual 2D workspace to 3D plane. As I click here, will appear some other controls over here, over here also. And if it will ask me to use a camera, let's try that. 3D plane. Do you want to add a camera? Yes, I want to. Yes. Now appears a camera. It becomes a little weird. Don't worry. Now we have a few more controls like this one, this, and some other things we'll see later. Look at this. We still can change its position this way. You can rotate it, as we always done. But now you can do these kind of things. With this control over here, you can do this. This is the new thing. What makes this a 3D workspace? That control and this other one too. 
as you can see when you turn this look here in orientation look how the numbers change so remember this is orientation so now the keyframing will be applied to the scale that is the size the position and now also the orientation well after all that explanation the editing is actually very simple you see we have three texts we will select this one enable position scaling orientation and apply keyframes then we'll do the same with this one and this one let's start by this this is the animation let's enable the position the scale and the orientation as you can see here it has automatically the keyframes at the beginning of the video i would like this to be over here look how automatically the position changes i'm changing the position i would like it to rotate a little like this coming from here i would like that at the middle of the video this war animation comes let's rotate this let's rotate it okay a little more to be over here like this at the middle the scale let's increase the size 100 percent let's change this to 150 presenter has become bigger and that is right that's at the middle of the video and at the end let's adjust again its position the scale and its orientation manually directly on the preview window i would like it to be over here like this and like this this will be the motion let's increase its size the scale to 80 presenter that's okay let's look at this position the marker at the beginning remember at the beginning of the video i want this text like this at the middle be like this and at the end like this this were the keyframes position the scaling orientation i'm applying to it from the beginning let's preview this video look at this okay i like that that was applied only to this one as you can see the other ones there is no animation of them okay that was our second test let's do the same with the third click on this this is this one draw down arrow and let's enable the transform controls which one do we do one again position scale and rotation accidentally i created the keyframes at the end I would like to start from the beginning, so I'm going to select this, press supreme, and that is all. Position the marker at the beginning, and remember, keyframes to this text. Why I cannot see the controls in 3D workspace? Because this text is still in 2D workspace, so I need to click here, and switch to the 3D plane. When I click on this, now it is possible to change it in a 3D workspace, like this. I want it to be here. I need to enable the position scaling orientation. Three keyframes. At the middle of the video, I would like it to be like here. Let's change it a little. Like this. Let's turn this. This way. This way. Like this. The size may be smaller to 40 presenter let's change its position adjust the position that's at the middle of the video and at the end position the marker at the end of the video and i would like to bring it to the front increase its size the scale to 100 presenter maybe below and to do this let's preview look at this Okay, I would like it to be bigger at the end. So I'm going to change this scale at the end, position the marker at the end, to 120. Look at this now. Look at this.
I like that. Well, now let's do the same with this one. To select it, just click. Now it's selected. I need to change, remember, layer dimensions to 3D plane. Now let's transform it. Click the drop down arrow, transform. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. I'm gonna position the marker at the beginning. Remember that. Enable position and scale and orientation. And now let's apply some animation. Okay, at the beginning, over here. Yes, and like this. No, like this. And like this. At the middle, I will like it to be. No, that's one mistake. Undo. Okay, this one. At the middle of the video, I would like it to be at the center. Like this. What about here? Making your bed. Maybe a little bigger. Scale to 130. Press enter. And at the end of the clip, I would like it to be again uh, be slow again scale to 70 press enter and rotate it a little making your bed well this is our video right now let's preview this 3d workspace animation look at that this is still a beginner tutorial remember we're creating an independent video clip called Composite Shot 1. Now it's time to use it on the editor. So we've done with the compositing, we've finished our Composite Shot 1, and it's time to come back to the editor. Click on Editor, and let's come back from the workspace, click on Workspace, and let's come back from compositing to our original editing. Click on Editing. Okay, let's look at the video right now. Play this. Would you not get back in your bed after you have gotten ready? There is no any text here. Why? Remember, the independent composite shot is like a video clip. It's here. If you want to see it in your video, you just have to click on this and drag it to the timeline. Like this. And now if you see the video, look at this. Wouldn't you not get back in your bed after you have gotten ready? But it's also going to make you feel a lot better when you get home after school. Now this does not have to be a full work. And remember, you could have done the same by right-clicking in the clip and make composite shot, applying the text, the animation, go to the 3D layer, and applying keyframes to position, scale, and rotation. That's all by now. I hope you like this video. See you in the next tutorial. You would not get back in your bed after you have gotten ready, but it's also going to make you feel a lot better when you get home.